everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new Marvel Legends Infinite Series Avengers Wave 2 Thanos Build a Figure from Hasbro. That's right, we've taken a look at all the figures in the second wave of Avengers Legends, and now it's time to take a look at the Build a Figure. Okay, so first we'll take a look at the uh, Thanos figure and its individual parts and it's pretty easy to assemble. Um, you just take the legs and you snap them in uh, the holes in the legs into the pegs on the torso and they pop in pretty easily and they're nice and tight once you get them popped in. Uh, then you want to take the arms and pop those into the sockets. Again the little pegs on the arms just uh, fit right in and nice and tight once you get them to pop in. Then you want to take this plastic collar piece and there's some uh, little pegs on the inside of the collar piece and there's little holes on his shoulders and you just want to align those pegs up with the holes and get them to push in. And then finally you just take the head and you pop it on that ball joint. And voila, Thanos is born. Okay, so the detail on the figure is not too bad. I really like the fit head sculpt on this figure. I think Hasbro did a great job capturing the look of Thanos. I like the sculpting of the skin and the teeth, and I like the grin. I think it's a good uh, facial expression for Thanos. So overall, I think the head sculpt is really solid on this figure. Um, the paint apps are so-so. I mean, there's nothing special. It's basically, my biggest complaint is like on the collar piece and the piece on his waist and his, uh, around his wrists and, and boots. Those pieces, they look like plastic. Um, you know, they're just gold, but there's really no kind of wash work or anything and they just kind of look very plasticky. Um, so I would, I like the metallic gold on like his mask and everything. So I don't know, it may have looked better if they'd used that kind of same metallic paint on the plastic pieces. It's not that it looks terrible or anything, I just, you know, I think there could have been some more detail in, in that area. But otherwise I think it looks good. The, the body, you know, is basically uh, a kind of a glossy um, dark uh, navy blue and there's some nice sculpting line work to give it kind of that armor look. Um, he's got the silver uh, metallic uh, like knuckle on his uh, knuckle covers on his uh, hands. Um, he's got that same kind of metallic silver on his legs to give it some more detail. Some lighter yellow on those gold pieces um, throughout just to kind of give it some added texture and everything. So you know, overall I think the figure looks good and I really like the head sculpt. Um, I think Hasbro did a great job with, with the face and everything on, on this figure. So my really only real complaint with this figure is I do think that Thanos is a little bit on the short side. Um, he stands at seven and a half inches tall and he's actually not the tallest figure in this Avengers Wave 2 um, even though he's the Build-A-Figure. Uh, the Hulk figure, the Age of Ultron Hulk figure is actually taller and to me I think Thanos and Hulk should be about the same height. Um, here he is next to that uh, Diamond Select, Marvel Select Thanos figure. Now this is obviously a 7 inch scale figure but I like the size of this figure for Thanos and I think it fits in well with the Marvel Legends. So you know, even though this is the classic costume uh, you know, I, I think that's a good size for, for a, a Marvel Legends Thanos. Or even this, you know, maybe the, the Blastar figure that they released in that Thanos Imperative uh, San Diego Comic Con box set, that would probably be a good size for Thanos as well. Um, but you can see that the, this Thanos build a figure is actually shorter than the, the Blastar. So articulation on this figure is not too bad. Um, heads on a ball hinge joint so he can look left and right with no problem. Um, he's got, it's a ball hinge joint, so he's got some up and down movement. Not a whole lot, but some. He's got the ball hinge joints for the shoulder. Now one thing to note, when you start moving the arms around, especially at the shoulder, um, this, this collar piece has a tendency to kind of pop up um, and get loose on the figure. Those little pegs on the inside don't stay in the holes very well when you move the arms around, so just be prepared for that. Um, he's got the bicep swivel. He 
it's got a single hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow about that much and then he's got the swivel hinged wrists so he's got some up and down movement there with with the wrist he's got the ab crunch um, so he's got some bending there you get the little clicking noise when you have him uh, crunch and he can look up some he's got a waist swivel so good movement there um, this this waist piece is actually a separate piece from the figure it's not really meant to be removable but um, because it is a separate piece and it's kind of a hard plastic it does limit his movement of his legs to some extent so he can only get his leg forward about that much and then he can't get his leg back much at all and he can't really do the splits either with the way the leg is sculpted he does have a thigh swivel he's got the double jointed knees so he's got good bending at the knees and then he does have a boot swivel and he does have the ankle pivot and then two peg holes on the bottom of his feet review overall I like the figure I would have liked to maybe seen him be a little bit bigger or taller but other than that I think it's a nice looking figure I'm glad that we finally got a Marvel Legends Thanos figure even though I still uh, really like that diamond select uh, Thanos figure but the good thing is is you know that's the classic costume and this is the modern costume so you kind of get both costumes which I like I like Hasbro went with the more modern costume as opposed to the classic one since I think that diamond select Marvel select uh, figures fits really good with uh, with the Marvel Legends um, this wave you know this is the build a figure for the second wave of Avengers Legends which uh, should start hitting shelves I believe sometime in March um, again I don't have an exact release date but March is when I think we'll start seeing them in shelves here in the United States and that's my review uh, we'll have a detailed photo gallery of images for this figure over at MarvelousNews.com. There's a link in the description below. I also have links for all the reviews for the figures in this wave if you haven't caught those yet in the description below. And as always, you know, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.